What is going on, guys? Troublesome here, back with another episode of Spin Tires Mud Runner. I'm back on the island map. Gonna finish up these four logs to this lumber mill. I got eight currently, or no, I got four out of eight. Hey, guys, if you want to see more Spin Tires Mud Runner, hit that subscribe button, will you? Okay, so I got my waypoint set. I am gonna trudge through the mud. If you have watched the previous episodes, this is the same level that I uh, managed to sink three vehicles trying to recover one. And uh, <laughs> it's been a rough one. It's been a rough one, but I have this this guy left. I have uh, K700 left to load the logs with. And then I have a uh, B131, I think, that has a fuel cistern just in case I need it. And I can haul logs with it too, even though it'll be miserable. You know, just in case I lose this one. But I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to be all right. I think I learned from my mistakes and I have uh, mellowed out a bit, if you will. Hey, Undark, the guy that uh, gave me the tips on the fuel conservation a little while back and sent me a mod level that he made. If you're watching this, can you please send me a DM or something? My email is troublesomelowres as spelled out in my YouTube name at gmail.com and tell me how to install that damn thing because I have no idea I've never installed a mod on this game short of stuff from the workshop that I just subscribed to I really want to play that uh, level that you made and I really want to uh, do a video on it so if you're watching please email me some instructions I would super duper appreciate it. It's weird going from American Truck Simulator to this because uh, traction is so different. Uh, the controls are a little bit different too. I'm shopping for a steering wheel, guys. Anybody got a steering wheel recommendation uh, that's under $300? Will you please uh, post it in the comments? Let me know what, you know, if anybody that's watching is rocking a steering wheel, I'd like force feedback I'd like pedals and I'd like a shifter but I'm not necessarily requiring those things I'm running Windows 10 Pro I think professional maybe and 64-bit uh, processing you know that whole that whole shabam I've been looking on eBay for some uh, used ones I found some Thrustmaster like G27s for a couple hundred dollars they're used um, I'm a little wishy-washy about buying used, but man, those things are expensive. I had no idea how expensive they were. Uh, I haven't watched a lot of reviews. I, yeah, I just want something that's compatible with Windows 10 PC. You know, it's got some kind of support and uh, something I, I would prefer force feedback, but I don't have to. I definitely want pedals and I would like a shifter, but I don't necessarily have to have a shifter. If it's got paddles or buttons I can use on the steering wheel, I'll, I'll live with that. In an ideal world, I'd pay about $100 and get everything I wanted. In this world, the real one that we live in, um, I pay about $1,000 and get everything I want. Now, I found some really old steering wheels on eBay used that were like you know USB connected PS2 steering wheels and things like that I was super tempted to try to get because they had force feedback they look like really high-end wheels for their time but I'm pretty sure compatibility would be a problem all right back to the game seems I like, it seems like I'm trudging through pretty pretty well here running diff locks only I haven't had to put all-wheel drive in more than a time or two now, why did I put that waypoint so far over to the side? I think that was a mistake. Yeah, that must have been a misclick. Must have been a misclick. Now it's where I need it to be. One of the things I love about this game is obviously the graphics and detail, but I love that that spare tire is not like mounted to anything. It's just kind of sitting there. 
and it bounces. It's it's wedged between that rack and it just kind of bounces back and forth. Uh, approaching the log kiosk. Approaching the kiosk. And it looks like I might I might get away with not fueling up this time. And I might regret it. I really don't want to run out of fuel and get that B131 out here to get stuck a thousand times. But you know what? We'll see. There's our trusty K700 over there ready to load. I'll do this like I have been doing since I don't have the crane. I'm going to have to just park this over on the side and uh, load it accordingly. Ah, uh, you know what I am going to do though? Now that I'm here and thinking about it. And it's dark. I'm going to spin this thing around so I don't have to do a U-turn with all those logs on it back here in this muck. I think I'll be thankful for that decision uh, later on. Okay, look how I parked the 700. That is... That is sunk a bit. Now, if you remember, this thing is actually... I'm dry, I have to drive it in reverse. Uh, to load, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. Everything's backwards. It does have a boatload of fuel in it, though. So that's a good thing. It is loaded up. Mm, three at a time. Three at a time. Do, 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 three at a time. This thing's got plenty of fuel. I'm not really going to worry about the not having uh, or having it in all-wheel drive because it's not that big of a deal. I think we've loaded up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right. Let's uh let's get rocking. I'm going to assess my situation here a little bit first. Hmm. I think I can make it to the lumber mill, but I think I won't make it back. Eesh. Eesh. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over here and fuel up. Then we're going to turn around and go down this road. Nope, we're not because I can't. We're going to move this one over here. And we're going to go down the coast. And the coast sucks, but the coast is what it is. At least we'll have full fuel. And if something horrible happens, I can go get that 131, I suppose. All right. That'll do it. Man, 
and this is a struggle. This hill right here is a struggle. And this is gonna have to be my go-to kiosk because of the loading situation. I believe, I believe I'm making the right decision with the fuel because look at the fuel gauge in here. It doesn't look near as, uh, that's a quarter tank. It doesn't look near as uh, safe as it did. It's just a little over a quarter. Oh hell, I guess since I'm getting ready to go get some fuel, I can just burn it all up right now. Right? Maybe? Yeah, right? I don't like how much my truck is leaning right now. I don't like it. Oh, 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 oh. oh I don't like that that wheel's about to come off the ground. Okay. Okay, we're safe. I'm gonna crowd this side so I can pull a Yui. Mm-hmm. Oh, crowd a little too much. It's a good looking game. Yes, sir, yes, sir. She looks so good. Okay, guys, I'm going to make this trek and I'll jump back in whenever I get to the lumber mill. Or whenever something horrible and exciting happens. Hopefully none of those do. Alright. The sweet, sweet lumber mill. I believe this is the last four points out of eight for this mill. Yeah, boy. All right, guys, that is where I'm going to end today's episode. I got this lumber mill filled up eight. The next uh, the next mission is come back to this kiosk with the K700. And then I'm going to have to fill up two runs and head here to this one. And getting there is going to be a little more interesting because I think I might have to take the long way. I don't think I can get through these trees and this mountain. I don't think I can get here because there's... A ridge so I think I'm gonna actually have to go all the way around through here back up to this lumber mill here and it'll be a two tripper so it's gonna be tough hey guys if you like this video hit that like button will you it helps me out a bunch I appreciate you hanging out with me and making me a part of your day and I will talk to you guys next time